Hello friend. So today we will learn about Visual Studio shortcuts and tricks. So before you know we go ahead uh, forward, let's talk about why even we need to learn about these tricks and shortcuts. So if we are a software engineer, we have to work eight hours, 12 hours and 14 hours of a day, right? That, you know, and the expectation is we have to deliver our code fast. So we all are, you know, very efficient in delivering the code in optimized way, writing a good amount of code and good quality code. But sometimes if we don't understand the shortcuts, we don't know the tricks that, you know, delay our deliveries in our projects. So for that purpose, we have to learn some of the key shortcuts and tricks so we can make our life easy, right? Okay, so the first shortcut is remove unused namespace. So whenever we are working with uh, enterprise applications, so you know, there the PR review, the code review is quite important. So no one let you deliver your code without uh, any review. They will make sure anything that is not in use that code should not exist in your file. So, you know, line of code should be reduced, right? So let's take an example and talk about how we can remove unused namespace by the shortcuts. So the shortcut is you have to press Alt E then IE from your keyboard, Alt E IE from your keyboard. And that should remove your all your unused namespace. Let me uh, try that now. So, Alt E I E. So you noticed there were a lot of you know namespaces before which were not in use. So this shortcut has removed those all, and that is how it will make your life easy. Let's learn about next uh, shortcut. Okay. So go back to last mouse focus position, and the shortcut is Control plus minus. And let's understand you know what it actually means. So if you are working on a files. Sometimes you know uh, there are long list of methods. I'm here now. I move to uh, this method all the way down to my Visual Studio, <clears throat> and I wanted to go back to uh, that position again, right? What I have to do? I have to press Control and this minus, Control and minus. So let me try try that Control minus. You see. It may uh, it went on the same position where I was before and it's not only you know work in the file you can go to another file you can go to other file and you know now you wanted to go to uh, that same position again now what I will do control minus see the jumping to that file see right so that is how we can make our life easy if we are lost somewhere in our code and I wanted to go back to the last position again Let's jump to next shortcut. So how we can comment the code. Uh, yeah, so let's learn about how we can comment the code. This is quite important. So if you're working with, you know, 100 lines of code, sometimes you don't need uh, two lines of code. You can comment those. How we can comment those? The shortcut is Control KC. So you have to press uh, Control K plus C from your keyboard. So there are you know two ways you can uh, comment your code. One, you can select whole line. That is easy. Control K C. Now just imagine you know this line is quite long. So you do not want to select whole line uh, manually. So what you can do, you can press anywhere uh, your mouse cursor uh, within that line. Let me press over here, and now I can say Control K C. So that make our life me easy, right? So that makes our life easy, and now it has commented our code. Now, next, uh, uh, one more thing. So if you want to uh, comment everything in that class, you can say, you can select select everything by Control A, and then again, you can comment that code, Control KC, right? So everything is commented. Okay, now let's go ahead and learn about next trick. So how we can uh, comment, uh, uncomment the code. So this is similar to, you know, Control KC, the only difference is last uh, key, that is U. In comment code, comment start with C keyword, so that is why it was Control K plus C. Uncomment start with U, that is why it is Control K U, right? The concept is similar. You just have to choose the uh, other key right now. So I am saying Control K U, and it has uncommented my code. 
let me comment everything and let me uncomment everything so see this is how it works let's jump to our next shortcut so this is not a shortcut but this is just a trick or one trick sometimes what happen uh, you are renaming something so it says rename variable functions property class name anything right if you are renamed something in your class in your visual studio and just imagine you know this out uh, function replace right it has been uh, called at three four four different places right now i am renaming here for example say out replace rename huh? now i do not want to do a replace everything manually go here go here go here right or read them manually so still you know if this is just a one class you can do that copy and paste 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 manually but just imagine now this is being called in different files in all these files what will you do you don't have time that will take a lot of time right so what we can do you are renamed right away it will show you visual studio will show you this icon click over this and it will give you suggestion to replace and it will show you where it is going to replace now click over this so see your life is easy right so let me replace one more time so for that understanding let me say out function now mouse over this icon and replace all done so that is how we can make our life easy uh, when we are writing our codes let's learn next so next is jump to solution explorer file what does that mean okay <clears throat> so there are four files just imagine there are 100 files huh? uh, with you know different architecture different folders different you know class libraries you have opened this file now you wanted to find the same file in your solution explorer how will you do that so for that the shortcut is control then this bracket then s let's try that so now the expectation is when i uh, press that key i should jump to uh, out versus ref in in my solution explorer right okay so let's try that so see it has opened that in my solution explorer so that is quite important and you know when you are working with big projects you have to learn this so you can directly jump to uh, that file and you can do whatever you want to do maybe you wanted to read in that file right from here so you have to jump to that file but just you know you can for sure you can search from here but you know if the project is big that visual studio will you know quite slow to search uh, that file from here so that's why we have to use this shortcut let's jump to next okay so it says directly jump to method implementation so this is similar to go to implementation but you know i will show you a different trick so you can say control you can you know mouse over your over there and then say left click and it will directly go to implementation okay so this is my you know ref function and i wanted to go to implementation one trick is you can right click and say go to implementation or you can say control f12 the other trick is that you know most people use uh, when they are you know quite experienced they press they do mouse over over there right they focus their mouse on that function where they want to go press control and now say left click you see you directly went to that uh, function so this is how it works okay so let's see what is next okay now open implementation class or any method inside the parent window Hmm. and that is all plus f12 this is quite interesting let me show you so for example let's imagine you know you have a program class not imagine we know that we have a program class and here we are calling a class i mean creating object of that class and then we have a function call method call now i wanted to go inside the implementation for sure you know i can go to implementation or i can press this what we just you know learned in last step but i do not want to leave this window right how we can do that so for that again put your focus over there mouse focus now the shortcut is alt f12 now you have to do alt f12 so see you don't need to leave the window now 
within the parent window where you were you are able to access that class and you can do whatever you wanted to do make a change save that file and that's all similar to function this method say alt and f12 see now you you have that function implementation open directly here so this is quite interesting and saves a lot of our time with this shortcut okay so next is replace the code okay so <clears throat> let's go to back to that our uh, class so now we have this out function and i wanted to rename it uh, sorry replace it you can say control h right say control h now if you say control h it will pop up this window this short window here you can type what you want to replace and here you have to put the value with what value you want to get that to be replaced right so if you go with this way you have to you know copy this or type manually but you know how normally you know people uh, make it more fast for example you want to replace this with something uh, you know else so select this and say control h now so you see that save your one step now that that the value the uh, the name that you wanted to replace it is already here now for example let me you know uh, okay i already have some value so i wanted to say out replace one uh, so press this with this you can replace everything this says replace all or it will do you know one by one so you will uh, press one it will replace this thing again you have to press this it will replace another next line but let's say everything i wanted to replace within this document done so there were nine uh, occurrence it has replaced everything where it found out function so it find out function here as well so it says out function replace one out function replace one so take care of that okay so let's jump to our next so that is format the code again that formatting code is quite important when you are working and when you are following the good practices so when you are working with some project and you know you have a good reviewer good peer reviewer you are quite fortunate so that means your application is going to be healthy in the long term right so let's say you know sometimes you are working and your code is quite messy or uh, informant so how we can do that mm, let me you know first do some mess over here right okay so you now see you my class is quite dirty and messy and i wanted to format everything over here the shortcut is control hf right so since i need because i need to select for sure you know everything first otherwise wherever is my mouse focus it will only format that line let me select everything now it is selected everything now say control hf mm. say control hf so there is some issue and it says ah oh, my bad so it is control k not h there is something wrong i had written okay so now let's try uh control k f now you see it worked right so control h i was typing something wrong uh you know because control h for replacement for formatting you have to say control k and for formatting say f right now you see everything is formatted and now your class looks good than before okay so yep so we have learned you know a lot of things today and i hope that make your life easy while you are working with a uh, visual studio so now you learn some of the shortcuts for you know more information anything that you wanted to learn please add your comment or any feedback on this video please add your comment in the chat box uh, we will come and cover in next video i wish you you have a next uh, good day ahead Thank you so much for watching this video.